So we're here in uh, Laguna Niguel and we're starting a new job today. It's going to be a, a fascia repair, dry rot repair, and uh, cricket repair. We're going to replace a cricket. So uh, first problem that Bill and Linda have is uh, their fascia right up over here. We're going to take this off. You see Javi's up top. We're going to take off this gutter right here and uh, we're going to fix this fascia and take it off all the way. Get this length right here and we're going to go all the way up to the top. You can see it's pretty pretty bad right here. Yeah, it's just toast. The second thing we're going to do is uh, they have this eave right here. They got this big hole in the roof to let some sun in. And it's been letting a lot of uh, letting a lot of dry rot in around it. I'm going to show you the uh, show you the inside of the area there. We're going to disconnect this gutter piece right here, take it down, carefully set it aside, and we'll rehang it after we're done. With the gutter down, we're going to be able to. Uh, remove this piece of fascia. We've got Javi up top here. We're going to remove two rows of tile all the way down, all the way across. We'll change all the felt paper and uh, that'll enable us a good way to get this fascia out. Underneath the uh, roof there's a uh, plywood deck. So the plywood deck is nailed into the fascia every six inches. So if you just want to try to, a lot of people try to just take tear the fascia down just all by itself without taking apart the roof. Then you have to clip all those nails. And then once you clip all the nails, the edge of the roof is left unsecured and it's weakened. And on top of that, it's it's just not good waterproofing. You're probably going to get leaks in this area. So the proper way to do it is to uh, cut all the nails in the gutter like we're doing. Remove the gutter. <laughs> Then remove the tiles, then remove the fell paper, then pull the nails from the plywood. <laughs> to get all that out, you get the fascia primed all six sides, painted all six sides, hang it up, cut it, hang it with hot dip galvanized nails, and this thing will be all set. And then all we got to do is put it back together. So we'll take pictures and uh, show you how it comes out. So we're, it's about uh, one o'clock today, and you can see we got this area all stripped off and you can see that uh, underneath there they had some pretty bad roof leaks. Real bad one, real bad one. The area he's in is just horrible. So whoever did this roof is just, basically just didn't do a good job. Look at that plywood. That is just garbage. So we're going to get this all torn out and fix the leaks, get this thing done properly. And uh, you can see we got the uh, fascia all torn up, we got the root paper all removed, we're going to do all new edge metal, fix the felt paper, replace the uh, fascia, prime and paint the new one before we install it, put it all up with hot dipped galvanized nails, fix all these decking issues, fix all the plywood issues, place all this crap basically, this shoddy workmanship. Roof we're going to tear apart all the way over to here. We're going to go all the way over this corner. So we're going to redo these two valleys here also as well. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to redo this whole cricket area for them. And basically the re-roofing company just fell apart where it took waterproofing skills. They could do some of these big, big areas pretty well. They're not too complicated. So they were able to do these areas pretty, pretty good. Not too bad. But right here they just, they were just lacking in the expertise. You just need something more than labor, and pretty much all these roofing crews, all they got are laborers on them. So, and you just get stuff like this. It just, it just is what it is. So uh, we're gonna take a few more pictures here, and uh, we'll show you how it comes out. So we're gonna show one of the areas here underneath. They had a pretty big leak right here, and we can see now why the. Uh, so the cricket area here is leaking right here, and it's going underneath this roof, and it's destroying this wood down here all the way underneath this deck. So we're going to plan to remove this roof anyways, and when we do, we'll take this roof off and we'll get up underneath here and uh, we'll change this wood. You can see it's a pretty nasty leak. And that's exactly why you want to hire somebody who's not in a hurry and uh, are ready to get out of the job. Don't overbid it, don't underbid it, but yeah, look at the wood that was on here. When you looked at the roof, the roof looked, looked okay, showed a little bit of signs, but look at this stuff. This is his, this, that's his plywood. It's just falling apart. That's dry rot. That's super bad. So you want to make sure when your roofer's here, he doesn't leave this stuff because uh, 
you don't know it, but there's areas of your roof and it looks like that. And if the roofers underbid the job, you just get stuck with that and you have to tear the whole thing apart again. It's just terrible. So, we you know how to bid these things to get them done right. And we do them right or we don't do them at all. So, we're going to get these three beams out. We're going to replace all this wood. Change out all this fascia. Fix all these problems. Get it done right the first time. So, we're still over here in uh, Laguna Hills. And I think it's our third day now. We're in Laguna Hills getting ready to finish up the dry rot repair on this opening. And uh, they had a real complicated deal that we just took care of. So they had the dry rot going all the way up underneath this other roof that they had framed. A leak from the other roof was coming from right here. And then it was rotting everything underneath here. So you can see this is their sidewall. So this is like back inside the house. So we basically had to dig out underneath the roof framing, take off this whole roof right here. And uh, now we're going to be able to replace all the e-boards here up against this wall because it was all up underneath here. So we're going to install new blocking up underneath this side. They used to have wire mesh up underneath here. We're going to install new blocking, replace all the shiplap, replace everything, put everything back, and then uh, replace this roof going over to this corner right here. So this will all be all brand new. So we'll uh, get it wrapped up and we'll show you how it comes out. Day four now, and you can see this is a lot of work. Uh, a lot of people may think you can get this done really quickly, but we do this stuff often and it is time consuming. So we got this area all done, changed all the plywood. We got this area all done, you can see the face is all done, primed, painted, looks beautiful basically. So we still have the gutter to hang back up there. And uh, you see this was all rotted out. It's all replaced, all new blocking. And then we even did this extra for them. They used to have these little metal pieces and uh, they were screened that they put on the back and just as a little extra special touch, we went and we ran blocking all the way in the back here too for them. So we got all the blocking done back there. Tore up the roof underneath the deck up underneath there, replace all this stuff. So now this is all brand new. So we're looking pretty darn good. Still have a little bit of finishing touches to do up here, but all this is done, so we're going to move on to the rest and uh, be back here tomorrow. We'll get it all waterproof, the flat deck done. We'll show you how that comes out. Here we are. We're doing the finishing touches over here. We got all the fascia replaced all the way up and across. We replaced the X one over here. We're going to reset the gutter. We're going to rehang it all up. We rehung this gutter all up. Replaced all the boards underneath here. You see, they had some pretty bad dry rot. So this stuff has now all been replaced. These beams have all been replaced. Ship laps all been replaced. All this ship lap was replaced. It even went underneath the room addition. You can't really see what's all underneath the room addition. Got all new eave riser and everything all across it. New metal flashing across the front here. Added some blocking for him because he asked me to do it. So we did a little bit of blocking. Face is all done. And with that done, we'll take a look at the top of the roof and uh, we'll see how that came out. So here's up from top. You can see this big long piece was all, all redone. You can see it's even hard work to see where we even joined it together. But the carpenter is really good. It's going to be super hard to see the joint. I'm going to get up close so you can actually see it. You can just barely see it from a distance. So there's the cricket. It's all redone. We redid all this side over here, all the way over to here. This is all redone. Got the rain diverter, all brand new wood, all primed, all painted, everything all put back together. All the flashings are all painted. You can see, cleaned out around the skylight. They had that to do. All flashings repainted, chimney repainted, everything resealed. We're looking good to go. So uh, that's about it. We're done with this one. We're going to finish up. We're going to meet the homeowners here pretty soon and uh, we're on to the next one.